Well, well, well. So here's the thing. Today I'm going to show you just the basics about layers and whether you've been doing Photoshop for a while or especially if you are just getting started, um, it can't hurt to watch this. And if you if you think you're doing pretty well at Photoshop, watch it anyway just to review. There's probably something, some little nuance that you maybe didn't know about layers. And if you do know all these things, then um, then you win. You already know it, and that's good. Um, but if you don't know it, it's, it's good to know all these things. All these things can be pretty helpful. So um, without further ado, I'm going to share my screen and show you some pretty basic stuff about layers. Um, okay, so here's the thing. Here is your layers box. I'm going to be honest. Most of these other little things over here in Photoshop, you, you don't really need to have open. It's not going to help you, especially if you're just getting started. If you want to look at them, you can click them on and then um, just uh, get them back off of there. And uh, I, I like to keep it simple. I like to have two things open, my toolbox, which is this right here with all the tools, and then the layers box, which is this right here. And uh, when you do initially open Photoshop, you will have one layer, and it's uh, either going to be a photo that you brought in or it's going to be just a solid white sheet of paper. And uh, to make a new additional um, layer on top of that, you click this little plus sign right here, and it's going to make a new one. Let me let me zoom in. I want y'all to see this better. So uh, okay, if we zoom in, what it looks like is there's a little plus sign. That's what creates a new layer. And um, when you do, it's going to look like this. It's going to give you. Um, like a checkerboard layer on top of the white layer. Hold on, let me pause it because I'm going to show you all something. Uh, Okay, I had to go get something. So look, this is an important difference. This is white. This is a white sheet of paper. If I put it in front of my face, you can't see my face because the white is not see-through, right? This is clear. This is a clear like shield. If I put this in front of my face, you can still see my face. And so um, there's an important distinction. Like just for instance, if you wanted to give me a, a mustache, you could color like uh, a Sharpie mustache on here and then put it here. Oh no, all you see is the mustache. That's not right. But if you put a mustache on this clear uh, shield, then put it in front of my face. Oh, hey, I gave Cox a funny mustache and then I could take it off. Oh no, I don't have one. Yes, I do. No, I don't. That's what a clear layer can do for you. If you get a clear layer and just put something basic on it, it's still, the rest of it is still see-through. And so that's a, a good important thing. Okay, so um, the new layer button is, again, this right here. Looks like a little plus sign inside of a box. And then um, should you want to throw away a layer, of course, you just throw it in the trash can. And so um, you can expand it and retract it, things like that. Okay, some of the basic things that you can do with layers is um, you could make a new one and then just use the little paint bucket tool and paint it any solid color you want. I can make it black, I can make it red, I can make it green, whatever I choose to do. Here's the thing, if you have a black layer and if you want a separate layer, make a yellow layer, oh no, I've lost my black layer. I can't see it because there's this yellow layer. Well, just calm down. Notice how the yellow layer is on top. You just drag it beneath the black layer or vice versa. Um, you could drag it on top of the bowl. Whichever one is on top, that's the one that you're going to see, right? This makes sense. So like, oh, here's that piece of paper again. Here's my hand. Here, hold on. Let me, I'm going to do the uh, thing where it's uh, not sharing the screen for a second. Okay. So look, here's my hand. Here's a piece of paper. Oh no, my hand is gone. No, it isn't. It's just covered up by the piece of paper. If I move my hand on top of the paper, Ooh, you can see my hand. Whichever one is on top, that's the one. Okay, so uh, let me do the share content again. Okay, so whichever one's on top, that's the one you'll see. So if you have uh, 
Let me zoom out just a little bit. If you have a red dot and a green dot and a blue dot on separate layers, here's the beauty of it. If these were on the same layer, they'd be stuck together. They would be all joined. But because we have them on separate layers, we can move them distinctly. That's important. That's a good thing. Whichever one I click on, that's the one that it drags. Um, if I want to join more than one together, I can hold the shift button and I can get, oh, I have both of these two, the red and the green. Or I could hold the shift button again and get all three of these. I can hold the shift button um, by, I can just click the blue dot, hold shift, click all the way down here and get all of these. Just click one layer, hold shift, click another. Click one, hold shift, click another. Okay. So, and then you can move around all you want. Another thing you can do with layers, let me uh, zoom in on the little thing again to show you, is uh, where it says opacity at the top, it always defaults to 100%. Opacity means how opaque it is, how visible it is. It's the opposite of transparency, which is see-through. Opacity is how there it is. Uh, if it's 100% there, you see it, it's, it's vibrant. Right, so um, I want to change this to be right here, fifty percent opacity, and it's it kind of ghosts it. It makes it sort of see through, and uh, I can turn on my um, my green layer. By the way, to turn on and off layers, you just click the eyeball beside it. It's still there. It's just hidden. It just disguises it. Um, and so, uh, if I put this on not a hundred percent, but fifty percent. Um, Turn this one on and put it on 50%. Makes it see through. That's a helpful thing to know. So that is how you uh, can get multiple layers. Hold shift. You can move multiple layers by dragging. You can make them ghosted, make them semi-opaque, make them where they're somewhat transparent. Change the opacity to be um, a lesser percentage. And uh, there's a few important things. So here's the thing. If you want to clone a layer, would you? Trust me, you'll you'll often want to clone layers. Um, instead of just clicking and dragging the new layer button, you click on the layer and drag it into the new layer button. So, okay, first, if I just click the new layer button, it makes a new blank layer. Nothing in it. Nothing. I'm going to throw that one away. Rather than that, I'm going to click this layer and drag it into the new layer button. Ah, now there's two of them. One's right on top of the other. You can't tell that there are two except by looking over here on the side. But I can click and drag it. Oh, and then I could hold shift and get both of these, drag both of those to the new layer button. Ah, suddenly I've got four. This is how you can exponentially um, create tons of these things. So if I really wanted to, I could hold shift and uh, I can shrink these down. Command, oh dear. My light. <laughs> hold on, let me pause it real quick. So the light will come back on. Okay, I'm back. So um, I can make these as small as I choose to. And then watch this. I'll take all four of those, drag them to the new layer button, and suddenly I've got eight of them. Um, there's so many that they're going down here now. If I want to merge layers so that they're all like one layer, I can hold the shift button and click on the, the top one. Like I've already clicked the bottom one. I'm just going to hold shift now and click the top. And I can go to layer and then down to merge layers. The, the short hand key for that is uh, command E, but layer, merge layers, bloop. And now suddenly this one layer has eight, so I, I can't move them all distinctly anymore. Um, but I don't need to do that anyway. And so, um, okay, that's how you um, make duplicates of layers or clone layers is by dragging it into the new layer button. Um, let's see here. One thing you can do with layers is you can type on them. The way to do that is just click the T tool and then just click don't here's what you don't do let me show you what not to do i'm going to throw this in a way please do not click and drag a little box because what happens is they're too do you see that they're too confined um sometimes you'll want to type type large letters and if you 
if you have large litters and you're confining them to a small home, it just messes things up. So let me throw this in the trash can. Instead of that, just plain old click. And then I can type in Cox. That's my name. Um, I'm going to highlight it and change it to whatever color I choose. We'll make it. Uh, and uh, again, command T means transform. I can I can size it up as large as I want. Okay, here's some things you can do with the layer. Other than change the opacity, which is right here. Other than clone it, which is dragging it into the new layer button and uh, just dragging like this. Other than that, one thing you can do is you can double click on the uh, the name and rename it. So it's all small case, or, or sorry, um, two letters are small case. I'm gonna double click right here. I can rename it wherever I want. In all caps, I'm gonna do my name. And I can name that layer. One thing you can do is you can right click this over here, the side, and you can um, you can change the color of it just to keep it categorized. This layer is important to me, so I want it to be red. It's very easy to find that way. So again, you just right click that. Um, if you are on a trackpad, just, just control click. This is Another thing you can do is just click in the empty space here. Just double click. Again, double click there. Beep, beep, just like that. And it opens up this box. And I have so many options. I can um, I can give it a stroke, which is an outline. Here's what you don't do. Don't just click this box. Here's why. Because when you do it, it doesn't change the settings to the right settings. So again, don't just click the box because that doesn't change this. Click on the word. Click the word stroke. And now, okay, now I can work with this. I can change the size of it. I can make it so that it... it um, strokes on the outside or on the inside of the letters um, or just where it splits the difference in the middle like that. Usually I like to do the outside. You do what you want. Um, you can change the color of the stroke. There are so many options. If you don't want the stroke, uncheck it. If you want to do drop shadow, don't just click the box. Click the word drop shadow. And uh, over here I can change it and make it just as dark as I want. I can make it as um, distant as I want. I can change it, make it as blurry as I want. I can change the color to whatever I want. Um, sky's the limit. And there are many other options in here uh, that you can see. Inner glow I use fairly often. Outer glow I use fairly often. Uh, do what you want. To get there, all you do is uh, double click on the side of the layer here and it opens it up. Click the word and then you can do what you want. Um, Let's see here if there's any other thing. Okay, just to quickly review, if there's a layer that appears white, um, like this right here, that means white. It, it's a white sheet of paper. If there's a, a layer that appears to be a, a checkered board, it is invisible. That represents invisibility. There's nothing on this layer, no white paper, nothing. So there's one big thing. If you want to change the opacity of something, is right here. Opacity, you can change it from 100%. So if I do it to this, I'll change it to like 50, 40%, something like that, up and down. Uh, one thing you can do is uh, you can um, make a clone of a layer. So if I drag this into the new layer button, it makes a clone and I can move it to see it. If you want to resize a layer, hit Command T and you can make it bigger or smaller. If you want to, let me do the same to this one, Command T, or, or Edit Free Transform. It's the same thing. It shows you there, Command T. Um, let me size that down. If you want to make a bunch of something, then you just uh, hold the Shift button. Now they're kind of temporarily stuck together and drag both of them to a new layer button. And then I could click on the top, hold, drag, uh, click at the bottom, just like this. Click at the top, hold shift, click at the bottom, drag them all to the new layer button. Now I suddenly have eight of them. And so um, if you want to merge them together, like now I've got them right where I want them, then click on one, hold shift, click on the, the other side of them. And then you can go to layer, merge layers or command E, same thing. And now they're all in the same layer. That's some of the things that you can do with layers. Um, please don't forget you can double click the side here and uh, do what you want to with them, give them a shadow or anything like that. Um, I think we're good. So if you need to rewatch this, um, by the end of the day, 
what would be great is if you could be a ninja at making new layers. You can do that by clicking the new layer button and making new blank layers. If you can make new layers, if you can clone layers by dragging them into the new layer button. Let me uh, turn off the share screen. If you can make new layers, clone layers. If you can be a ninja at controlling which layers on top. Oh no, I can't see some, oh, I see why. I need to just drag that layer above, uh, that kind of thing. Um, if you could be good at merging layers um, so that they become one layer, if you could be good at uh, changing the opacity of layers, making it um, where it's no longer 100%, but 50%, something like that. Um, if you could be good at, uh, I'm trying to think if there's any other important thing, double clicking the layer and um, making it so that there are options like um, dropping a shadow or giving it an outline, things like that. If you could do those things um, and do them very, very fluently, then you're right where you need to be. If not, that's okay, but fix it, right? Like if you're if you're not great at one of those things right now, that's okay, but now's the time to fix it. Go back and watch that part of the video. Make new layers, um, clone layers, change the opacity of layers, merge layers, um, that's, oh, and double click and be able to make it have like an outline or a drop shadow, things like that. If you can do those things, then you're in really, really good shape. Um, and if not, again, just uh, go back and rewatch. Okay, that's probably enough time. Next time uh, I have an argument again. Okay, here's the, I'm just gonna say it right now. I think that Under the Sea is a better song than the uh, Circle of Life. So here's, okay, I'm not talking about the visual part of it, because the visual part, it's the Lion King is awesome. And the the opening scenes are very cool with the Lion King. But if you take that out and you're just listening, Under the Sea is just a better song than the circle of life. It is. So just listening to them only, that one particular song versus the other particular song. So uh all right. I guess that's it. Hope you all have a good day.